How do I find marketing articles? Part three. So hopefully in your list of results, you see one that piques your interest. It's time to take a closer look to see if it's relevant to your research. If it is, we can pull up the full text and we can mine it to find other relevant results. Uh, so this article looks like it might help me answer my general research topic. At the top, I get all of the information about the article itself, like the title, the author, and when and where it was published. This one comes from a magazine marketed to the hotel industry. I'll need all of this information for my reference list. I noticed that this article uses the term, the subject term internet marketing instead of mobile marketing. If I click on the subject term, I will get a list of all of the database articles that also have that subject term. I could add in a keyword related to hotels to narrow down that list if I wanted to. Look, I get a different set of results. I can do the same with the industry codes that the catalogers have assigned um, this article. So that would look like here. For example, this is the industry code for hotels. And then below, I can usually read a short summary of the article. Sometimes titles can be misleading or unclear. Hopefully this short summary will give me clues as to whether this article can help me in my information quest. If after reading the summary, I want to read the full article, look for either the HTML full text down below or the PDF icon. Here's the PDF icon on the left hand side. If I click it, the article will pull up in a new tab and it will look exactly like it was printed in the original magazine with pictures and everything. From here, I could save it locally um, to my computer if I wanted to, just like any other PDF I would find on the internet. If the article doesn't seem relevant, I can go back to my search results to start combing through my other results. You may have to go to the second, third, or fourth page of search results to find a relevant article. This concludes part three of this tutorial.